Hey everybody, Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. I'm uh, just doing a little bit of plumbing work on the trailer, moving some stuff around as always. I uh, can't leave it one way too long. Uh, I just got to make some <laughs> adjustments. Uh, so updated this. This actually, if you've seen some of the previous pictures, I had of the 90 here. Go to this section, I had another coupler and then a 90. Uh, it was really just the way that the other PVC pipes that I had uh, were already put together. Um, I had this piece on there. Uh, I do really like having a two inch come off of here. Um, now I've got it as 90 just because I've got this six by 10 uh, trailer. Once I upgrade to a bigger one, I do wanna have that actually come straight off and avoid as many um, turns as possible, um, or at the very least make it a big circle instead of a 90 like that because it does reduce a little bit of the, the momentum for the water. Um, now with this, we've got the, the other nice thing with these couplers is it gives you that added flex and it also gives you a really tight seal on there um, also if you need to dump the water real quick I can just unscrew that right there um, that clamp pull it off and just, you know have this whole thing drained in a matter of a couple minutes um, nice thing with this two inch so instead of going immediately down to a one which is what I had done on a previous one it really reduced the flow this with the two inch to the two inch PVC pipe then goes down to one and a half and then this three-way splitter um, now you can see the Y strainer on there um, on the other line the Y strainer is actually about midway down the hose um, I've got that ball valve and I'm gonna put one here um, just need to order that one um, I did I went with threaded uh, one inch thread to one inch and um, these things I have not cemented these in yet um, so right now they're just pushed in so they do leak up just a little bit and then this I am gonna end up putting another ball valve, big ball valve on there, run a second line. Um, you know, for whenever I get up to eight gallons a minute, that way I'll, I've got that extra one there. Um, and I'll honestly, going through all the different PVC, this ended up being actually um, a better piece to do that um, than to find actually just a Y splitter. I like this a bit better. Um, I put this on here though, just because with this is just at a slight um, degree, is to let any air out. So when I first turn this on, um, and I'll usually only be using one machine at a time, but I'm able to um, make sure there's not any trapped air in there so we get full water flow. Um, run these two around. So this one, um, it actually loops underneath the pump uh, on the plate and then it's going to come over and just couple onto there. And then this one I actually put a larger section of hose so it's going to do a nice little uh, loop come around here and then um, let's see here. Uh, I got the one inch barb um, to one inch threaded and then this is a one inch female to half inch got this uh, all from Russ uh, as well as the wash strainers uh, it's outside equipment anyways guys I hope that helps um, again just as always you got to make sure you get your maximum amount of water flow out of here um, I was able to go ahead and measure some of it earlier um, it basically took about 22 seconds to fill up a five gallon bucket so I'm, I'm putting out about 13 to 14 gallons a minute and that's not doing anything with that third one um, and I also had did have a little bit um, of leakage on this one um, nice thing too by doing that test is I was able to go ahead and um, tighten those couplers before putting everything together um, so I know this is going a little bit long um, hope all this helps if you got any questions again as far as uh, plumbing or anything else um, just Hit me up on Facebook, uh, again, it's cleanpowerwash.com, facebook.com forward slash cleanpowerwash. Uh, again, Rob Anderson. Thanks.